Hey guys, Jessica here with The Furry Family Coach. In this video, we are going to be making a homemade DIY dog shampoo. And I'm actually going to give you a few different options for how to make this shampoo and my secret weapon. So stick with me. You're not going to want to miss this one. Jessica here, the Furry Family Coach, and like I've already said, we're going to be making a homemade dog shampoo in this video. And I'm going to show you a few different ways that you can do this and give you my secret weapon. So let's start out with what is my secret weapon? Because that is really going to make or break your dog shampoo. Now, um, my secret weapon is... Animalio essential oils. That's my secret weapon, guys. And I'm going to show you another one. Isn't it beautiful? It is. So I love essential oils and um, I, because I, I really love a holistic approach to healing. And I like using this with my pets as well. A lot of people are scared to use essential oils on or around their pets and I don't blame them because a lot of essential oils are really super poor quality and they can do harm to your animals, especially your cats. So, um, but don't, don't be too scared because there are some really great companies out there and I'm gonna give a huge shout out right, right now even though I have absolutely no affiliation with Animalio and Dr. Melissa Shelton. She is an amazing holistic veterinarian who specializes in essential oils for our pets. So this is where I'm getting our essential oils from. And what uh, Dr. Shelton recommends, and I completely concur, is uh, first, I mean, this is an interaction, this is a contact, an interaction that you're having with your pet. Why are you gonna waste this opportunity, first off, by putting chemicals on them? Don't do that. We don't ever wanna put chemicals on them if we have you know, any choice, and we do. So don't put chemicals on them because they're harmful. Um, secondly, take the opportunity to enrich your pet using the essential oils. You know, whatever your pet may be going through, whatever ailments they may be having, we can take this opportunity to help heal them. So why not take the bathing opportunity, right? You're putting your contact, you're putting a, um, a product in contact with your animal topically. Why not take that and make it a healing process. Why not put some essential oils in it that are going to help heal your dog and or your cat if you're bathing your cat, which I know most of us are like, oh my gosh, I never ever want to bathe, bathe my cat again after you do it the first time. But you know, if you start young and you, you, they grow accustomed to it, it's not that bad. So, um, take the opportunity to put some, put some essential oils in your uh, dog shampoo that are going to help them heal. And Animalio is a great way to do that. And um, I also wanna give a huge shout out to Kimberly over at Keep the Tail Wagging because she put out, well, she always puts out really amazing blog posts, but I got the idea from her that instead of using a water base for our homemade dog shampoo, which you absolutely can do, um, if you need to make a shampoo and a pinch and you don't have the aloe vera, but we're going to use aloe vera instead of water for the base of our shampoo. So it's going to be more of a soothing shampoo and it's going to be really silky smooth and uh, soothing against our dog's skin. So let's get started. I'm going to make a really small batch today. Um, so I just have this eight ounce uh, glass jar with a um, pump top on it. Let's get that pump. Anyway, so I've got this eight ounce glass jar. I'm going to make a really small batch today for this video. Normally, um, you know, I, first off, I like to make a lot of different types of shampoo depending on what my dog needs. For instance, if we are uh, looking at, we need to have some, um, uh, a flea shampoo for our dog or our dog has been out in the woods and maybe exposed to chiggers or ticks, something like that, um, then we're definitely going to want to use the Away Blend from Animalio to make our dog shampoo. Um, but for just a general all-purpose um, uh, shampoo, I am going to use the Colomile Blend. Now, um, 
I was reading on Dr. Shelton's website, animalio.info, um, about using the neat blends in, in the uh, uh, dog shampoo. And I, today, right here, right now in my home, only have the RTU or the ready to use blend. So understanding that the ready to use blend is already diluted with fractionated coconut oil, um, I'm either going to need to use more to get the strength I want, or I'm gonna start with a lower um, amount of essential oil in my finished product. And for me, um, and I actually, I think she says this too, less, the, I mean, if you wanna start out using like a really, really low amount, a really mild um, amount in your shampoo, that's great because you can always add more. It's just like with cooking. You can always add more, but you can't take it out. So start with less. See how you like it, see how your dog likes, likes it, and then you can always add more. So let's go ahead and get started with the actual recipe that we're gonna be using. And remember, I'm just making eight ounces today. You can multiply this out to make larger batches. Okay, so since I'm only making eight ounces, I'm going to start with a cup, which is eight ounces, so probably a little bit less than a cup. Um, you can either start with a water base, so do a cup of water, or if you're gonna be like me and you want a soothing um, dog shampoo, I'm gonna use an aloe vera gel, and I will put links um, in the description of all of these products I'm using, including the uh, uh, clear glass bottles. All right, so now I'm gonna take one tablespoon of unscented Castile soap. And one tablespoon of a carrier oil. Today, for me, I'm gonna be using fractionated coconut oil. Okay, so here is where you're gonna find a lot of differing opinions on um, what to add to your shampoo as far as essential oils go. Um, I'm only making eight ounces here, and that's a pretty small batch. Doing the research on the Animalio website, um, you can start out with a you can start out with a mild concentration, which Dr. Shelton recommends to use 30 drops or one milliliter for every two ounces of soap. Um, a normal concentration is double that. So 60 drops or two milliliters for every two ounces uh, of shampoo. So for me, you can always add more. So I'm gonna actually start with 15 drops and I'm using the Calmamile ready to use. So this is already diluted with fractionated coconut oil. So I'm probably gonna need to go ahead and get to that 30 drops, um, even to make a, a very mild shampoo. So we're just gonna tap the bottle. I'm gonna start with 15 and smell it. Okay, now once you've got your essential oils in, and this is where I'm at right now, Okay, once you've got your essential oils in, we're gonna whisk everything together. All right, so I'm gonna smell it. Hmm, I'm smelling some coconut. So <laughs> I'm gonna add a few more drops of my calomile. smells super yummy. Oh, I love it. It smells so yummy. So you can always add to it, but for right now, again, um, according to Dr. Shelton, what you want to do is actually let this set overnight so the oils can mingle with all of the aloe vera that you put in and the soap so it can all kind of mix and bind together and you can kind of see where you're at from there. Give it a try with your dog. So I'm going to give you a link to the Animalio website 
um, specifically to the shampoo page. Um, and before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and on camera transition this over, which I shouldn't do because I'm probably gonna make a huge mess, but let's see. All right, so I've got my eight ounce splash jar. I've got a, a little funnel and hopefully I don't make a huge mess. So let's move this from my mixing bowl. Look at that, I didn't spill a drop. All right, so I've got my doggy shampoo ready to go. So I'm gonna let this sit overnight, I'll let all of these essential oils mingle with everything else that I put in, which was what, like three ingredients, right guys? Um, which is amazing, right? Because I'm not putting chemicals on my dog and that's the best part. So I'm gonna give you a link to this uh, dog shampoo page on the Animalio website and it's gonna give you a lot of different ideas about um, the different kinds of essential oils that you can use to make your dog shampoo. For example, the NeuroBalance um, blend that Animalio makes is really great for dogs who are um, suffering from any kind of nerve, nerve damage or degenerative nerve um, diseases. And there's a lot of great information about that on the Anim Animalio website. Um, there are lots of other things that you can use to make your dog shampoo. Again, like I say, use the Away blend um, if you're having issues with fleas or if maybe you go hiking and you know that there are lots of um, horrible, horrible, but ecologically necessary <laughs> ticks and things like that, um, and you come home and you bathe your dog, use the Away Blend um, in, in a dog shampoo so that you're getting all of the benefits of these wonderful essential oils. You're not missing that opportunity of contact. And again, um, as Dr. Shelton says, go ahead and once you lather this into your dog, let it set for upwards of 10 minutes. Um, I've seen some really great ideas online about using lick mats to keep your dog occupied so you can let these wonderful essential oils that are in the shampoos um, set on your dog's coat and skin so your dog really gets all of the benefits of these things. Um, and you may not be able to keep them there for a full 10 minutes, 10 minutes maybe a lifetime, but that's going to be the absolute best way to get all of those wonderful essential oils um, topically into uh, applied to your dog to let them set. So with that, I did wanna give you one other little tip again from Dr. Shelton's website. Um, if you are not interested in making your own dog shampoo, but you do want to have the benefits of uh, the essential oils when you are bathing your dog, this four-legger dog shampoo, unscented, is a really great base. Just take, um, I mean, you can take as little as two ounces at a time or a tablespoon at a time and add your essential oil into it, whatever that essential oil is that your dog uh, may need or may be most beneficial to your dog. And there you have it. You have your own, um, your own dog shampoo that is custom made for your dog. So guys, with that, if you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments below. If you haven't already joined the Train Positive group, please do so. I will also put a link for that in the description. Give this video a big thumbs up. And um, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please go ahead and do so so you never miss another video. And with that, guys, I am so excited to let this um, set and use it on my dog the next time she needs a bath. So I will see you guys in the next video.